Alright. Eli TV. What up, what up, what up? What's up? I'm Jackal. You got Dre right here. Well, what up, man. What's going on, man? Man. <laughs> Been a ruffle, man. A lot of shit going on, man. Shit, how your day going? Man, you know. Just out here trying to make a few moves, uh, get this camera stuff set up so, you know, they can have some good footage. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Man, I've been having a lot of bullshit, man, going on, man. Uh oh. Man. What this topic gonna be? Uh, I, you know what? I, I gotta talk about friends a little bit, man. Uh, let's go with friends. Man. Let's go with friends. What, what we saying? I'm now, sorry, right? man, but you know what? I, I think I got a friend that's living with me. Right, right, right. right, right I got right. a friend here because I know you don't smoke, man. I know it's getting it, man. No, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I got a friend, man, that's living with me, man. And the thing that pisses me off is he's one of those friends that he trying to take advantage of every situation he could be in. Right, right. Now, I only charge him with me. 500 to stay with me. And I let him split that up, you know, 250 here, 250 here, all in one month. Mm -hmm. So I let him split it up all in one month. So last month it was okay, he was gonna move out. So now he gonna move out, but he don't wanna give me the other two feet. So we talked about it and I'm like, well shit. Wait, 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 last month? Last month. He paid me two fifty at the beginning of the month and then the second week he was supposed to give me the other two fifty. So he'd have been straight. Now remind you, this is the motherfucker who make twenty two dollars an hour mm -hmm. and do about maybe twelve hours a day. So you do the math on that in five days, I mean the nigga got over a thousand dollars. So I was like, all right, cool, we'll split it up because now you got your little child support thing going on. No big deal. So then he started staying with his girlfriend. So he figured that since he was staying with his girlfriend, he ain't got to pay no bills over here. Like, he ain't got to pay nothing over here. Like, when his stuff's still here? His stuff's still here. His mail's still here. He come here and change and do what he want to do. And he still got access to his spot downstairs. All right, well, it ain't my fault that you don't stay here. But... This is still considered your home because you just if you gotta you gotta move all the way out or stay all the way in. You know, halfway. Man, man, he, man. Like storage, like you can get storage for cheaper. You can pay a hundred dollars a month. And we had that storage. talk. We had that talk. I told him, "Well, what's it do? It don't make no sense for you to pay five hundred here if you ain't gonna stay here. You can go do this." He said, "Okay, but never move nothing out. Everything's still here now. That's supposed to be the boy. This supposed to be the homie." But one thing you don't want to ever do is mix money with friendship. You I told to, you. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to mix that. You don't want to mix that at all. Because it's always a fucking problem at the end. So it came for him to pay me. Where are the day, folks? It's money and friendship. <laughs> don't, don't work. Don't work whatsoever. So we're having this conversation. I'm like, look, man. And he's like, you're supposed to be my boy. I said, well, that's why I gave you the homeboy discount. I only charge you 500 nigga. You got all this house. Then you got everything you need. You got it all downstairs. You got whatever you want. And y'all cook. And we, we cook dinner, man. He comes home. My wife cooks, man. He eats food, man. You don't do shit. You but go to work. And, you know, I expect the nigga to pay his little, you know, his little money. All right, no big deal. So, the he was supposed to kick in the 250 Never kicked in the 250 from for the last month. Now he kicked in the 250 in the beginning, but not the other half of it. Mm -hmm. So then this month come, he gets into a car accident. But when he gets into a car accident, I'm like, all right, nigga got a car accident. Okay, I seen his truck is fucked up. All right, he ain't been to work. All right, I'm going to let him hold on until next week. No, no, just, just me. Hold on. Now we talking about being boys. Oh, uh, yeah. So, no, no, no. We uh, talking uh, about business. That is we true. talking about friendship. That, that is true. Two total separate things. That, that is true. Staying here is a business transaction. I, I, I agree. Being boys is a personal transaction. That is true. But what I was they saying, don't they don't mix. When we doing one, the other ones don't hold. Well, well I, I look at it this way. I look at it this way. He was in a car accident, so he was not working. So if he's not working. Okay, hold up. I gotta bring you back with a little bit. Okay. So you get in the car accident tomorrow. You good for a few months? You ain't gotta do nothing? No, I still gotta pay bills. You still gotta pay bills? I still gotta pay bills. Adults, Adults. Grown people 
still got to pay bills no matter what they go through. Right. But but that's where but that's where but that's where you mix friendship with business at. You mix friendship. So, and that's what I did. <laughs> I mixed them two together. So now the key is. Savannah and Soraya had been over here spending the night. So Yo kids. My my children. In my home. So they sleep down in his room. Which is their room. Which is technically room in the until beginning. They start pay, until they start paying. Yeah, until they started paying. Until he started paying, but when the niggas stopped paying, that shit was free range. <laughs> so they were sleeping down there and then he um he came, he stopped through the day. Now, remind you, he stopped through yesterday, which was Friday, and I'm thinking, okay, nigga, gonna throw in a little bit of rent. All right, at Mind least. you, today's the first. Right. But I was thinking he was going to give me the 250 yesterday. I was thinking he was going to do that. So the nigga didn't kick in the 250, and I'm like, all right. And then he still owes me another 250. Then he still owes me another 250, all right, for this whole month. Because he still ain't paid me the 250 for last month. I still know how it got from. 500 to 250. Well, well, no. I mean, I see what you're trying to say. Well, what I'm but, trying to but, say is, but what you I'm can't pay say. your like you can't pay your rent like that though. Right. Nowhere else. No, no, you I'm can't. I'm gonna give you half at the beginning and half in the middle of the month. They're gonna be like, well, I'm gonna give you half a house. I was trying to, I was trying to show the niggas love. I was trying to show the niggas love because at the beginning the niggas so was out on you the, the block. Blame. No, no, fuck that. You only blame yourself. No, then. I didn't blame myself today. When we had that goddamn conversation, I was like, he came upstairs. He was like. How is she down in my room? I said, nigga, what room? Wait, 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 who? That's what Flex said. How is who? Well, because Alina, our, my niece, was downstairs in his room. And now Savannah had slept down there last night. She had slept down there last night because of a situation with her mom. And so all the rooms was taken. So I told her, go sleep down in Flex room. So she went down and she slept in Flex room. And then Alina must have went down there when Savannah left this morning to go do her uh, firefighting shit. Um, Alina must have went down there and just watched TV. So when he came here with his son, Alina was downstairs in his room. My 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 room in my house. So <laughs> he tried to cop an attitude when he came up here. And I was looking at him like, who the fuck are you talking about? Well, she was downstairs and I don't understand how. I'm like, nigga. You stop paying rent, nigga, the way it looks, nigga, last month. <laughs> you didn't finish paying me the two fifty from last month, nor the five hundred for this month. And you mad at me because somebody's down in a room that's in my house. And you taking up all kind of space. This is the conversation we had. Well, I'm just saying, man, you know, I just think that, you know, all my stuff is down there. Nigga, last time you told me you was moving your shit out of here. And you ain't moved nothing. So you mad at me? Because I'm using some space in my house that is not being used. You're mad at me. How you gonna be mad at me for some shit in my own house? And I'm paying the bills in here. And you just come through whenever you want. Thank you. You just come through whenever you want to. But I, I just, man. Now you elaborate on me. You tell me what you think. I ain't know what I think. It's the same complaint you've been having for three months. I told you that I thought three months ago. Like, it. it why? Why? Like, this, your crib, y'all friends, you should be able to be like, look, man, this ain't working. You know what I'm saying? Like, our friendship is our friendship, and that's cool, but living situation ain't working. It ain't working. I'm, but you, you said that three months ago, and then you, you hear again for the third time. And I don't understand. Like, why you mad now? No, oh, no, I'm not mad. Or I why just, you irritated? I, well, I'm irritated. I'm irritated just because when you wanna. No, no. When who wanna? Okay, I'm saying. I'm saying me. You know, I'm built this way to help. To let people walk over. Well, no, nah, I'm the fuck no. I ain't trying it's to. It's the difference between helping somebody and somebody taking advantage of you. It's a difference. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. You help an old lady across the street. You did a good deed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You help somebody across the street because they don't feel like carrying their groceries. That's a whole nother thing. Exactly. You help a lady across the street because she got five kids and she trying to control all of them. So you grab two of them and be like, you help across the street. Right. But I think my thing. It's a different deal 
if you helping somebody across the street with their kids, they got 10 kids and they picking up their little child support check and their welfare check right, and their right, kids right, ain't got no right, shoes on their right, feet right, right, and right. they be like, why you touching my kid? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Right, but but you know, I still think that sometimes, man, you know, you trying to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. Now, even though, even though, because I, I know where you at with it, but even though, I'm just saying, okay, look, you my boy. Now, granted, if I was out on the street, you tell me, okay, look, D, come here, you expect me to do my job, which I would do my job for as paying, you know, for my little living situation down there. I would stay on top of that. Um, I think it was one of those things I looked at it as, all right, man, look, you had a car accident. Well, but, but, but this was before the car accident, so that is that's true. just the latest reason. Th that's the latest reason. That's, like, Because now he's using that as an excuse. Because now he's using that as an excuse. Right, it's a difference between, like, you got to be able to separate things, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so if, we if, friends, that ain't got nothing to do with we can't live together. Okay, so just, just like me and my exes can be friends, right. we just can't be in a relationship no more. That shit don't work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like we can be friends as long as we ain't staying together, we better off. So how do you how do you justify friendships? I'll go like that. Me and you, we've been friends for over thirty years. So right. how do you justify me and your friendship? Or how do you how do you explain me and your friendship amongst others that you know? Well, it's a two way street. If you can't live with me and you said you was able to do this and I said, okay, yeah, we gonna do it like that. And 500, let's say. And then one month you couldn't come with it and I'd be like, all right, you know what? This month, you know, I've been having, I got a raise, I got a bonus, I'm good this month. Cool, pick it up next month and we good. You know, next month you come, you got another reason why you can't pay. I'm like, look, man, hold up. Last month you couldn't pay, listen, we still boys, but man, you gotta pay. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, and if, right. if you, what's we, up, homies? If we get passed down in that month, and then you like, I don't see. If you ever say to me, I don't see why I gotta pay. I'm like, stop right there. I feel you. You don't gotta pay. I don't see why I gotta let you live here. So check it out. Um, next Sunday. You should be out. Um, you don't got to pay me nothing you owe me. Charge it to the game. I don't want this to fuck up our friendship. So, but I, we can't live together. This just ain't going to work out. I mean, and if you get mad at me about that, you ain't really my friend. Because you just want to hurt me and you don't want to get hurt by what you're doing, not by what I'm doing. I'm just reacting to what you're doing. To what you're doing. I'm not saying, you. it's not like you paying me on time every month and I'm like, Hey man, the money good, but um, you gonna have to give me four hundred more dollars. Out of the blue, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, the money ain't good. I gave you a shot, and I excused it the one time, and now you saying, excuse it again. But I got bills to pay, and I don't really like living with a lot of people anyway. No, I'm, no. I'm excusing this. <laughs> right. Of my friends. Right. That's the right. friend part. Right. I don't want to do right. it. Right. But the friend part is I'm doing it. I wouldn't do it for nobody else. Right. Right. But then when you start, But that's where the friendship that's where the that's friendship the, that's where the friend starts and ends. That, that, that's where it comes in. Because yeah. if I'm going out my way for you and then you can't even do what we discussed, yeah. I can't do nothing else. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. keep like come on, like I got a life and, and my life in my own home don't include my boys, you know. No, what no I'm and saying? I can I can one hundred see now I can under I can one hundred percent see that part. Because when you got somebody else moving in with you outside of your household you know you give up certain privacies you know not to mention he lives under my bedroom mm -hmm. so I mean right, right. things ain't popping off the same right. you know, somebody right. up under the bedroom <laughs> you know somebody right down here right so you ain't you ain't having that and you ain't walking through the house how you normally would or the wife is not walking through the house how she normally would you can't just walk out the room and be switching shirts all willy nilly. Yeah. I'm looking at my son, 23, like, okay, when you leaving? Yeah. That's so, my son. Right, right. Let alone a friend. <laughs> right, right. You know, That's my son. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I just asked him um, two days ago. I said, you going to be here this winter or what's your plan? You moving around. What you doing? What's your life looking like? Right, right, right. And you know, because I'm like, if he's going to be in, then if he say, if he would say, yeah, I'm going to be here this winter, 
all right, no biggie, but I was gonna make a, a um, parking spot in the gra in the lawn, you know, put um, what's that pavement rock down? Gotcha. Yep, and um, yep. pavers, you know, and, and make a parking spot so he don't gotta be on the street. He can park on there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. that way he ain't gotta be in the driveway. But he was gonna pay for that. See right, what I'm right, saying? I'm like, right. I'm like, but that's because he's still there. Yeah, though. I don't need it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Still but that's, he's still that's there. For him to pull in right, pay for that. Cause if I don't need you being in the driveway blocking my car when I go to work. I don't want you to get your car towed because they come through um, snow removal. Right. So we'll build you some in the yard. I'll build it. You just pay for it. It's gonna come out to like two fifty. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and he was like, okay, if um if I wind up thinking I'm going to stay, I'll let you know before that, and then I'll pay. I'm like, I'm like, cool. If he'd be like, well, why I gotta pay? You don't. Right. You know what? No, you don't. So I'm expecting you're going to be gone this winter. Right. I, th I think the thing sometimes, man, with, with, with friendship, uh, you would like to think that, you know, um, friends are not going to screw you up, screw you over. Hold on. Come here. Uh, here we go. All in. All in the camera. Come here. Hey, sit. <laughs> Go home. I almost want to say white people. <laughs> I almost want to say that, but I ain't going to say that. <laughs> this is the edited part. <laughs> I think, um, I think with, with friends, you always want to think that Friends ain't going to try to get over you. Friends ain't going to try to, you know, try to fuck you. I'm, I'm used to certain friends that I'm good with and, I'm, and I vibe with and I click with. And we always look out for one another. I'm used to that. And I'm always used to and I, and I also think that you should, you should be able to have friends who, like me and you, we got, we got, you know, 30 years under the belt. We, we hold, we hold strong. <laughs> We hold, we hold strong. You want to bring anything? Oh. Pause. You guys go. We're doing something right now. Go, please. You know, our, our friendship, you know, we hold strong. You know, and I think we value our friendship more than a lot of things. And I think that's why me and you click so well. And that's why when you always say Nate, you say Dre. When you say Dre, you say Nate. And you've heard that for many, many, many of you. I think we just... <clears throat> The biggest thing is you accept somebody for what they are, who they are. And like me and Jamie was telling you at the camp, when we was camping, you either you just got to accept people for what they are. Yep. You know what I mean? And you got to accept him for what he is. And then the only decision you got to make after that is, okay, I'm cool with being his friend if he's this way, but I just gotta take myself out of this situation because we can be cool friends yeah and he can be this way and that's cool with me but i just can't keep him in my space like yeah. this well just leeching out so to speak because i think personally it's, if just you had... it, it's just what it is like yeah he is what we is and you gotta just accept it because you his friend Nah, I ain't gotta accept shit. You gotta accept. You can't change him. Well, well no, I can. I can. Well, I can accept who he is, but what I can't accept is how he's trying to take shit for granted. He not. He being himself. Man, fuck that shit, man. That's bullshit. What? Like, I don't understand why you you say that because he is constantly being himself, and you're like irritating, complaining about him being who he is. So like, he ain't doing that to like me or Jamie or anybody like anybody else because we will be like, no, you can't live with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no hard feelings about it. You just can't live with me. You letting them because whatever reason you letting them. I'm trying to look. I was just trying to. I was just trying to look out for the little critter. I was just trying to look out for him. I was just trying to say, look. I know you're struggling, but as I started to see it, but he ain't struggling. See, right, like, but, like but, you keep but, saying, but, but, he but, ain't what struggling. but what I'm saying in the beginning, 
He was, because he had just got out of a relationship. So when he got out of his relationship, he had nowhere to he go. He had food in his, in, his, in his mouth. Yeah, but he when had he, no... When he's but starving. He, but he, had, he didn't have a roof over his head. Who fault was that? He chose to leave. Like, come on, man. Like, you treat him like he's 10 years old. Nah, he a grown-ass man. No, nah, I was treating it like, you know... He's 10 years old. He's grown still, as hell. But I was still treating it like, you know, he's a friend. And let me look out for him. Because yeah. if it was me... All right, now look then. Because if it was me... If it was you, I would want you somebody. probably couldn't live with him. What are you talking well, about? Because I have a different mentality than he does. So why you ain't accepting him for who he is then? I'm just saying, man, like, you acting like he was on the streets. He ain't on the street. He can go home to Chicago to his mother. He can go, he can go places. He ain't, if you would have said no, what, he would have went down downtown to the bus depot and slept there? No, nah, he'd have found somewhere else to go. True. True that. True that. You know what I'm saying? He, he considered himself, I'm sure, a hustler. Well, no, nah, nigga, that nigga ain't for the hustle me, man. Fuck that shit. But I'm saying, he considers himself, I'm sure, a hustler. It's like the rest of us. And he should I ain't never, he I ain't he never, hustle his way out of my fucking house then. I ain't never gonna be on, like, the streets. No. And even if I'm no. here on the streets, I'm fine with it. Like, I'm I slept in my car many a times. I slept in my truck when I moved to LA. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I was I was having fun with it. I bought a blow up mattress, right. put it in the back of the truck. So you know what I'm saying? Do what you're saying. Do what you're saying. I, I slept at Walmart. Didn't depend on nobody. Doing you. And and a couple of weeks later, I wound up in the townhouse. Like that is true. God or whoever the universe like brought things to me because I wasn't complaining about it. I was just right. doing what I had to do. Wind up doing the movie thing. We getting all that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, Man. so we all can see ourselves cut from the same cloth. So why you letting your life and his life collide? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, true. Accept him for where he is, but away from you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you right. see how he play women and all that stuff and. But he think, but you know, it's what it is. But but what I'm noticing, but what like I'm noticing, way. but what I'm noticing, but what I'm noticing, is it looks like he's trying to play me how he plays women. It looks like he's trying to do that, and that's the thing that's it's a really, fact. That's the thing that's pissing me off. Like, for real, you really fit to play oh, me how you why play is them? That pissing you off? Because it's pissing me. It's I, what he do. Man, I ain't your bitch. Nigga, I was just trying to look out. Everybody is his bitch. Man, man, not fuck that, nigga, not me. It's what it nah, is. I no, nah, I know. Nah. Fuck that. Hell no. That's not the It's honor. what it is, though. It, it don't matter, like, your thoughts don't matter. If he look at it that way, that's what it is. No, nah, that's that bullshit. Then that's not a real friend, then. It is a real friend. No, that is not a real He's friend. He's just being who he is. No, that is, you can't say that's a real friend, because a, a real friend... A real friend, a real genuine friend, and you only got so many that come through and pass through in your goddamn lifetime that are genuinely a friend who ain't coming to you for nothing, who don't expect nothing. If certain situations happen to where you guys wind up, you know, meshing together and doing this, and you know, maybe you lamp here for a minute at the house and regroup, or you spend the night because you and the baby mama or the girlfriend and got into it, then you go back home the next day. Okay, that's friendship. That's friendship. Give you the good advice. Don't give you the wrong advice. That's that's friendship. A friend who can tell you when you fucking up, when you literally fuck it up. Then they can actually look at you and be like, look, dude, you super fucking up, dude. Bottom line, nigga, don't come to me for no sympathy when your girl mad because you did this, nigga. You fucked up, D. But that ain't, that's that's only the good friend side of friendship. Right, so friendship is 360. Like, that's the 180. Friendship, that's good parts of friendship. Friendship is also somebody don't like what you're saying to them and they got a problem with it and they're going to express how they feel about what you're saying or what you're doing. And then the p- person you're telling that, they ain't got to like it just because they're your friend. They can respond how they respond. Right. So, so that's the situation that's going on with you and him. But the parts of the friendship that I think you so they only like, So they only like what benefits them. They like anything out of the conversation what benefits them. Not what's teaching them or even strengthening the friendship. That's what you're saying. No, I'm saying you saying that that's strengthening the friendship. But arguments can strengthen friendships too. 
Not me and his, though. He, we, we, don't, we don't cohabit like that. Because you're not accepting who he is. <laughs> because I can't. Because I'm not used to... I'm not used to... Oh, being. wait, wait. Okay, so okay. how yeah. was it... How come it was fine when it was... He was doing what he was doing when he wasn't in the... You ain't complaining about... Because what he was doing, what he was doing... But you knew he, who he... You but, knew it who he was. but it wasn't affecting me. Okay, so... so but, but he was still doing it. But it wasn't affecting me. But he although, was... Okay, although okay, I, it wasn't affecting you, but he was still doing although it. Although I was still telling him some of the things he did was wrong. Okay, but you was still his friend. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so like, you said the selfish thing and only when was benefit you. So now it's affecting you personally. Yep. Now it's wrong. Yeah. Or see what I'm saying? Like it's a it, it wasn't wrong when it was affecting other people except you. But now it's well, you no, 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 because no. you put yourself in a situation to be affected by it. No, no, it's 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 still it's still wrong. It's still wrong. But the point that I'm trying to make is, you know, when you see somebody at a low point, that's the point that I'm trying to make. When you see somebody at a low point, you know, and you have the capabilities of helping, you're saying... Who was at a low point? Well, shit, he had nowhere to go, man. He was coming How you in, keep saying that, man? He, man? he was coming here crying. This, this, man, talking, this man, what, 38? He was, he was talking about committing 40? suicide. Whatever, he was talking, I'm just saying this that's dude, dude, what he was doing. So what? This dude, 40 years old? 40-something? He got to be 40-something. Yeah, he's older than me. He's 45. And he had nowhere to go, and he's acting like he's 10. He said he got nowhere to go. He's right now with the same person who you said he couldn't stay with. That's where he at right now. So no, all but, that, but no, but when he first left, he was leaving his home home. No, he left there to go to her house. Right. And then she, he left her house to come here. Now he's back at her house. Yes, yes. So yeah, he yeah, did exactly. have a place to go. Yeah. She didn't want him there no more. So you, you take him in. And he's like, fuck what's going on here. I'm moving back with her. So you said he ain't got nowhere to go. If he ain't got nowhere to go, he wouldn't have been able to move back in with her. Yeah, I guess I He's an adult. He's an adult. He can go to a hotel. They got live-in motels. Like, come on. He don't got no... He's at his bottom. He still got a job. Well, I guess he ain't like, at his bottom if he got a job. As long as you got, he a, got job, a job. He got a job. He got a vehicle. Only thing he wanted was a place to stay. And he had a girl who got had that. He just didn't want to stay there pretty much. Because he didn't want to do what it took to stay there. Right. And now that he came here and he got to pay, now he's doing what it takes to stay there. See yeah, what well, I'm saying? Well, well, I know he got to get the fuck up out of here. I know that much. I, I, I Honestly, dude, I... No, fuck that shit. Because when he, when he... First of all, when he showed the attitude today, he walked it out like... <clears throat> I'm looking like... What's wrong with you? Someone down in my room. You got your niece down around. Nigga, so fucking what? Nigga, you ain't paying bills here. Nigga, I can see if you was paying bills and that's your private space. <laughs> but you paying bills here. Nigga, you stop paying shit. Nigga, which means that yo shit open space. <laughs> Nigga, shit, if I want to go down there and watch TV, watch porn or watch whatever, that's all in my house. This ain't your crib. This is me. So how are you getting mad at me? Now, what you could do is you can take your electronics, which you are so which which is so important to you. You can take your electronics and move the fuck out, and we're still gonna use that room. A TV and a radio. You talking about a fucking goddamn TV? That's it. Just a fucking TV. They watching TV down in my room because it ain't your bed. Because that bed was here before you moved in. Okay, so the bed was down there, and everything else is down there. The only thing that's down there that belongs to you, nigga, is the goddamn TV. And your little setup, PlayStation, and all that shit in your clothes. That's it. Okay. So, you so what's the problem, building, though? So, what's, so it, it should, everything should be oh, good. Oh, oh, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. I already told him today. Dude, look. Figure out what you, <laughs> you told him today. No, I told him today. Figure out what you're going to do. And, and that's and that's. You told him that the other day, too. Or right, but point. but it's, it's my fault because I have a habit of trying to give people who I think should be a good friend trying to give him a chance and help. And that is my problem. My wife always tells me that all the time. DeAndre, look, man, you keep doing this. And that's how you fuck yourself all the time. And if you get mad for the wrong reason, DeAndre, because I hadn't already told you this. 
nature toaster, Jamie the toaster. Yeah, well, I think everybody knows a chance. Nigga, how many fucking chance you got to give a grown ass nigga? The nigga get out and go do his own thing. You know what? He's staying over there. So as long as he's but staying over there. But how you looking at it wrong? Like you saying you're I, giving him a chance. What chance are you giving him? None. When I'm looking at it now, none. I ain't giving him no fucking chance. Because you know what? He's already staying somewhere. Where he's staying where he could have stayed the whole time. The whole time. Where he's at, he's got stability. His whole thing is, and I'm starting to see this now, his whole thing is if things ain't going right there, he can come back here. Like, the money don't mean that much to me. I mean, we gonna be all right. I'm not worried about his little, it's 500 fucking dollars. I mean, I'm not worried about that. I mean, all right, cool. But I think he's looking at it as as long as I can stay here and if it ain't cool this day, then I can come back here. For free. For free. Ugh, fuck that. You know, that shit ain't happen. That shit ain't happen. And don't never let a friend do you like that. Ever. I've learned it the hard way. 100%. Just trying to be kind. But that's what happens when you look at friends and you say, look, this is my boy. I'm just trying to give my boy some help. But when you look at a real boy, a real boy says, I can hold my own. Nigga, yeah, I got a charger, I got a crib, nigga, I got this, I got my own job, I'm doing everything. Most of my boys that I hang out with got their own shit. He the only one who ain't got his own shit. So, well, you're right. Why should I treat him like well, he's his, one of my children? The only reason he don't got his own shit is because he don't have to have it. Everybody enables him to use their shit. Yeah, well, no, nah, that's coming So, I mean, he don't... If he don't gotta have a crib, why have a crib and spend his money on a crib of his own? Like, he ain't learned the benefits of having your own shit and how good that makes you feel. You you feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, because he's used to... People give. Yeah. And, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that if you gonna live, if you decide that's your life, the path you wanna take, but y'all clashing right now because you paying bills and you gotta get up and go to work every day and... You see somebody who just living here free and when you got to spend a lot of your check on bills. And he ain't doing shit. And his only excuse is, well, I ain't been there. I ain't been there for a month. Well, motherfucker, get your shit and move out. <laughs> I mean, seriously, get your shit and move out then, dude. If you ain't been here, then why is all your shit still here in my house? Why is your mail still coming to my house? Because you allow it. You're right. That's the, that's the biggest reason. You're right. You're right. You're right. And now I have to shut that down. I have to shut that down. Because I'm understanding now, as long as I give him a place to crawl back into, he'll crawl back into it whenever he wants to. And he ain't got to make no real decision. No. He ain't got to make no real decision whatsoever. He can play around with her and make her think he got a place to live so he can do what he want to with her. Right. Make her think he finna leave at any moment so she need to keep her act together. You know what I'm saying? But if he cut off from everywhere else and he with her, now he got to get his act together or she can kick him out and he ain't got nowhere to, to go. Pull so, maybe, pull. so maybe he needs to be put in a position to where he ain't got nowhere to go. I told you that. I told you that. Like, he, if he don't got nowhere to go, he's still going to find somewhere to go. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, because well, if he's stuck, he has no choice. Because he's going to be looking like, well, shit, I got at least 100 in my pocket. I can go stay here tonight. Mm -hmm. I still got to go to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I still get a paycheck. So I can still maybe go to the extended stay or some bullshit like that. We can still do that. Man, I slept. <laughs> Man, I, I slept in my car some days when I ain't, when I was living with my mother and I ain't want to go to her house because it was 3 o'clock in the morning. I slept in my car because I ain't want to disturb her. Like, that's, that's being considerate of somebody else's establishment, somebody else's place, dwelling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go in the house and, you know, disturb my mom and her husband. So, you know what? I'm just going to sleep in my car. In the winter time, I'm just going to sleep in my car. Then I slept in my car in the winter time until 7 o'clock in the morning, then went home. You know what I'm saying? When I knew she was up to work. I did that for common courage. I, I didn't have to. I'm, my mother would have, wouldn't have cared. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, but right. I was thinking, I don't want it to look like I'm... Um, taking her for granted or using her and whatever you know what i'm saying like when she was let stand on clarence you know I, I did that and i went to the parking lot where me and you live in oakdale 
and just spent the night in that parking lot in my car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did things to not impose on other people because I didn't want to do it. Right. Because I had to learn that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't never had to learn that. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes makes sense for him. And that's why I ain't fit a rock with this shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. I tell you what, the next time we have this video, Eli TV, you guys are going to be hearing that I threw this motherfucker out, and y'all going to be watching him pull this shit out in a U-Haul motherfucking truck. I ain't even playing. It's just going to happen that way. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be this long, but this is mean, just how, it, how these sometimes, conversations man, go. You know, you know? Sometimes, man, the conversations, man, they go to where you, <laughs> you know, you get so deep into them, and... I think the thing about you is I've always been able to talk to you. I've always been able to have these conversations with you since I was in uh, 11th grade. I've always been able to just sit down and vent and go off. And, you know, sometimes when you vent, you only think that you're only venting for a few minutes. So if I say, <laughs> so if I say, hey, Jackal, man, I need to talk to you, you already know, oh, shit, this shit better be a minute. <laughs> let, let, me, let me see what's going on on the schedule and shit because I know I'm be here for a while. But I wasn't meaning it to be that long. I just thought that it was just disrespectful of a motherfucker just to be acting like he mad because somebody down in the room that he don't fucking pay for. I just thought that was just like, and it's my kids. Like, nigga, you out of your fucking mind? I pay for this shit down here. You don't pay for none of this over here. So, I mean, you know, that was one of the things I want to talk about. And that's why I always talk about friendship. I think me, myself, truthfully, um, you know, on, on the last note, I, I think, and I, and I think you know me well enough to where I take friendship serious. And I don't have a lot of them. And the problem is I trust so many, but to be able to weed out the ones who, as you grow older, you know are the ones that they're there. You know, they're your boys. This is, this is you know, this is, this is true friendship. You know, and obviously if you're number one at the list of friendships, you know, of uh, you know, I know Nate. I know how Nate is. I know this about Nate. I know anything you wanna ask me about him, I can tell you. You know, anything that like Nate wouldn't be the one that just be like, Yeah, nigga, you can stay up in here and this shit's all cool, nigga. No, you ain't gotta pay, but that shit ain't popping off. I already know that. Ain't having it whatsoever. But you know, you wanna be able to at least have Four friends in your life that is tight. And, and and I remember you had told me, I'd rather have one real friend than five fake friends. And we always talk about me and your friendship, and our friendship is, I think, has always been 100% true bond from day one. I mean, shit, from the day that I met you, it was just a wrap from there. So when you talk about friends, man, you always, you always respect that true friend that you have and always know that that's a bridge as long as you don't burn it you can always cross that bridge because that friend will always be there for you he will always be on the other side that's a great friend and that's what i always look for in friendship like man look if something happened to me you can look out for the fams you know he could do that so can i be in you know so i think you know i think when you talk about friendship you know you have to be able to I try to look at it in a deeper level. Yeah. You know, I try to look at it that way. All right, so. White got to be coming all outside. Eli TV. Eli I'm TV. Eli.